Hey, what's up everyone? So we altered tech back again with a new exciting video. In today's video, we got to talk about the OnePlus 10 Pro's cameras. We have some new official news from OnePlus pertaining to the new features on the OnePlus 10 Pro. You guys don't want to miss this. All right, guys, so before we go on any further, I want you guys to go ahead and please hit that like button and please subscribe for some more videos. If you guys enjoyed this content, it really helps me out. So let's go ahead and dive into this real quick. I spent, you know, much of 2021 shooting with the OnePlus 9 Pro, so I know these cameras by heart. And for the OnePlus 10 Pro, now I'm not the first changes that i've you know they've made on officially is the ultra wide camera now the ultra wide camera is going to have a field of view at 150 degrees it's going to be more wider uh, opposed to the 123 degrees on the oneplus 9 pro now if there was one thing from oneplus that i would have loved for them to not change it would have been for the ultra wide camera it was sharp it was detailed and comparing it to some of my other smartphone cameras it it was by far my most favorite ultra wide camera so as to why they changed it i'm not exactly sure and there are rumors right now saying that this might be a samsung sensor it's not might not be as good as the sensor on the oneplus 9 pro it's just a rumor but right now what we have or what we know for a fact right now is that you're going to have a wider field of view on the oneplus 10 pro how do you guys feel about that did you guys want a more wider field of view or were you guys more satisfied with the 123 degree field of view with the minimal edge distortion on the oneplus 9 pro and on twitter oneplus did release some photos or images taken by the oneplus 10 pro let's go ahead and just look at them real quick uh, the first one and this one i believe this was taken either with the main camera or the telephoto it looks like the main camera and i guess they're trying to show off the natural hasselblad colors with these colorful balloons we have green for her sweater and the blue and the yellow and the red and they all look pretty natural nothing's really popping out too much and you know for the hdr in the back as well to me honestly guys i'm looking at her face and i'm trying to it reminds me of portrait mode on the oneplus 9 pro where the face wasn't that much detailed i mean it could have been the twitter upload quality as well you know it's it just i guess they were just going for the colors here and speaking of colors for the second one they are they went with this red hat and with someone with a brown skin tone kind of like my complexion and with a red necklace so i don't know exactly what her skin tone looks like and i don't really know how red that hat is but that red on the hat it's very very popping and uh for this third image we do have the ultra wide camera over here i believe these other two were shot with the either the main camera or the telephoto with the portrait mode i'm just guessing looks like the main camera i would assume so um, if i was going to showcase the cameras on this phone i probably would use pro mode for these two and i would use i would guess this is the ultra wide and with the ultra wide i did notice that the the black levels on this image for the ultra wide it's very very dark and what i mean by that it was very deep is that the hat you guys can't really see much details on the hat because it's just the black levels are just crushed and so if you guys like deep dark blacks i mean you guys might you know enjoy this kind of color processing or camera processing and if you were to scroll down a little bit we do have something very special for you guys this oh holy smokes i, I kind of wish i would i would get invited to work for the oneplus marketing team so they did a side by side between the old oneplus 9 pro old i'm saying old because this is capitalism and when the new product comes out the previous product is technically old all right so let's go ahead and focus on these images so for the oneplus 10 pro it's yeah it's a wider field of view and there is a lot of distortion look at the bottom look at those seats it's like everything is just being pulled pulled down it looks like a, a bubble effect and maybe you guys enjoy that maybe you guys don't for the oneplus 9 pro we were promoting the natural colors and for the oneplus 10 pro the greens look completely different so it kind of just are you telling me that the natural colors on the oneplus 9 pro isn't that great and the one on the 10 pro is going to be much better um well i don't really know how green the lawn was on the stadium so i can't really tell you guys
and we do have a new fisheye lens mode let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below i don't really use fisheye lenses that much but you know it'll be kind of interesting to see how this actually performs and maybe it might actually start taking more photos with fisheye lenses so you know you never know so i'm gonna go ahead and keep an open mind on this but the thing i'm most excited about is the new raw mode so now you're gonna have raw with all three cameras and with the oneplus 9 pro with color os 12 now you guys do have the ability to go ahead and shoot in raw with all three lenses and they also say it's going to be like on the iphone in which you could just go ahead and turn on raw mode snap a photo and you're going to have two images one that's in raw and one that's you know with the standard processing and another cool feature is the ability to capture videos and log formats. This is something I've always wanted from OnePlus. I mean, for people in the Eastern world, they prefer, you know, really bright reds, you know, highly saturated colors and maybe higher contrast. And as for me, I would like a more natural look. And I also would like the ability to control the highlights and, you know, try to get, you know, a much better HDR experience. And with the log format, we're definitely going to be able to control all of that stuff. So I'm really happy about that. And I can't wait to see how it actually performs. I'm curious as to how much data or storage this actually picks up. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all we have for you guys when it comes to the new OnePlus 10 Pro cameras. I, on paper, they look like they have the same specs. So I'm not sure with that new rumor came out where the ultra wide is going to have a new sensor. So let me know down below what you guys think about the OnePlus 10 Pro. Are you guys excited for it? Are you guys thinking about picking one up? I really think that with the changes, they might, and I really think with the changes, they might have been looking to go ahead and reduce the overall cost of the OnePlus 9 Pro. I believe in China, it's at a it's at a bargain price. It's at under, if you guys did the conversion, it's under 700 bucks, around 600 and something bucks. And if you were to convert that to the US, another US has you know more 5G technology and whatnot, there might be some hidden costs as well, maybe higher taxes. So that could probably jack up the phone price to maybe I would say maybe $799, $899. So I don't I wouldn't be surprised if they reduce the price of the OnePlus 10 Pro. But let me know down in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. What price do you guys want from OnePlus? What camera features are you guys looking for from the OnePlus 10 Pro? I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.